kind of holding my my foot behind his rump so he can't back out from underneath my legs. I have a fan here to keep the smoke out of my face while I'm doing this. This is to keep the iron from burning me. Alright, so I'm kind of guiding his head. I'm kind of pulling it a little bit forward just because it'll hold him stiller. You want him to be good and still. If you have ears on your goat, you know, you'll tuck them in like this. So. So I'm going to center the iron right over the butt. Maybe, maybe a little bit toward this direction. And then I'm going to burn for five seconds. I'm not really using any pressure, just the weight of the iron, kind of turning it a little bit like this, trying to keep a real nice even contact on the skull. This is that copper. This is the this is the copper ring people talk about. You'll want to pull back because that's not going to focus. Anyway, this is the copper ring people talk about, and uh, if that's where you leave it on anything with Nigerian with Nigerian blood in it, you're not going to you're going to you're going to have scurs. So. I'm trying to talk over this goat here. So yeah, we we kind of picked a noisy one for this. Didn't we? Yeah, well they're all noisy when you're doing this. So there's the horn bud. I go back to the other side again. So you're starting to see some, some of the stop now. You're starting to see some of the cartilage coming showing through. We're gonna try and get that all the way around. rest here for a minute. Okay. So we're kind of going to do this in more. And at the end, I'm going to try and flip it off because it'll be it'll be loose and I'll just try and flip off the whole little knob. You can feel when you hit the cartilage on the skull rather than, you know, actual, like, flesh. And at that point you're good for, for taking it off. It does look like you're pressing when you do that, so it's good that you said that you're not. When I'm, when I'm doing this part? Yeah, it looks like you're pressing, yeah, so I'm it's not, really good that you said that you're not. really not. You have to kind of press a little bit when you do the flip, but you're not you're right. just more just trying to catch under. Okay, so this is going to be a buck. So he's going to need to have more of a burn than a doling would need to have. Buck scurs will show up right up in here. So I'm going to take the iron and I'm going to place the back edge here and do another, like a really squashed figure eight right here. So a doling would be done at this point? No. She'd be really close to done. So. So you can see, you can see we're not through that yet. So we're not going to try and pop it off yet. That that extra bit over here.
Rest here. Let him catch his breath. You see how this is all loosened up. And I'm mostly at this point. I'm mostly. I have most of the weight of the thing toward the front because there's no point in, you know, keeping it even really. I see it angled there. Uh huh. Okay, there's this blood vessel right there, mm -hmm. so if you can see, and that one just bleeds and bleeds, so you'll just cauterize it, and if it gets away from you and you have a puddle of blood, get a Kleenex and, and soak it up before you try cauterizing it, because it'll cool your iron down to where your iron is not effective mm -hmm. cauterizing. So you can see we still have some tissue left to get through here. There's that blood vessel. And these these burns are toward, like I said, they're toward the front and a little bit toward the center line because that's where the scars will come in. Mm -hmm. There's kind of a ridge of um, bony horn material that that grows. You can feel it with your fingers. And that's what we're after. So we're going to cauterize this side a little bit more. And then we're going to kind of these back parts, you know, we're going to put the iron on just to make sure that it's not going to grow. And then we'll just kind of scooch forward a little bit. Place it on the Scooch a little bit. And then it's time for the dressing. I use this Alu Shield. See, Alu Shield. When you put it on, you want to make sure the kid's eyes are covered and you can tip his head up. And this is kind of a cooling spray and antiseptic. I see you get specially sparkle pants too. I do. Yeah. And you're done. So here's the little kid afterward. You can see he's just suffering terribly. <laughs> Doesn't he look awfully sad? <laughs> he's not, you know, happy, but he's not, you know. He's not hunchy. He's not hunchy, and his tail isn't clamped down. He's, he's alert. Mostly, you know, I mean, he's pretty much okay. <laughs>